today, folks. I've just been flicking some soft plastics around. I've got a lot of strikes, but not a lot of hookups. They're funny things are soft plastic. Some days they'll clean up. Sometimes if the fish aren't fully switched on, they might not hook up as much because the hook isn't at the back of the lure. So I've changed to a little minnow. This is a Zerek minnow. It's a little Zerek diving minnow. It's a bibbed minnow and it's got two sets of triple hooks, one halfway up and one at the back. The reason I've changed is because because the strikes haven't been aggressive and the, the fish aren't hitting the lure properly and engulfing it and getting hooked up, I thought I want to put something on with the hooks at the back. When a fish is hungry, particularly a redfin or pretty much any fish, they don't just bite their food. They open their mouth, they inhale a heap of water and they inhale the water, the food and the whole lot. Then they spit the water back out and keep the food in their mouth or the water passes through their gills. When the fish is just inquisitive, like those couple of, I reckon is happening today, and that's why they're not hooking up, they will nibble at it. And as a result, they're only nibbling on the tail of the soft plastic. So because they're not hungry, they're not inhaling, the hookup rate's been poor. That's not the case all the time. But so putting, by putting a minnow on with the treble hooks at the back, I'm increasing my chances of actually getting a redfin to hook up. All lures have advantages. There's a spot in your tackle box for everything. Soft plastics, minnows, bladed spinners, flies, the works. This little minnow is a dynamite redfin, a Zerek minnow. I highly recommend these if you're going to be casting for small redfin around these lakes. They dive quite deep. As with all minnows, they foul up if they touch weed and slime and stuff, so you've got to keep them off the bottom. So they're not as versatile as a soft plastic, but they are a good fish taker when they're in the right place in the right time. And right now, I believe this is a good spot for a minnow. So I'm just going to cast that out there. I'm not going to wait for it to sink. I don't have to wait for it to sink like a soft plastic because it dives. I'm just going to see if I can hook up. Well, they're hitting it. They're hitting it. Got him. Look at that. Plan paid off. I had about 10 or a dozen strikes with the, with the soft plastics before I hooked up. But this time, using the Zerek Minnow, I've hooked up on the first cast. Tiny, weeny little redfin. Now, I've just made a soft plastic video where I tell people the best way to catch small redfin is around the edges of these lakes. If I wanted a bigger redfin, I'd probably need to go out into the deeper water and use a bigger minnow or something that'll get down deep. But if you want to take, if you just want to take the kids out fishing to catch just some something that wiggles, go to a lake full of redfin and just fish around the edges with a diving minnow, just like I am now, and they will have a blast. Come on. <laughs> uh, another tiny redfin from the shallow margins of Lake William Hovel on the little Zerek minnow. How the hell have you done that, mister? There you go. Hey! Look at that, I was going to show you, but he, uh, he absconded. <laughs> he said, look at that guy's beard. <laughs> and he's got tattoos. Get me out of here. Ah, <laughs> oh, great fun. I could do this all day, just catching these small redfin. It's just enjoyable. Especially when I've got the kids near me. On the weekend I was up here and I was just fishing and the kids were beside me, just on a point up there. And I've cast out and I've caught this little fish and, and I said to my youngest daughter Holly, he said, Holly look I've got one. And I turned around and I held the fish right in front of him and I said, can you girls unhook this fish for me please? <laughs> I'll show you their reaction, check, check this out. Yeah, Holly, Holly look, look, look. Can you please unhook that for me someone? Can somebody unhook no, it for me? No, hey, no. Unhook it. Just take it off the hook. No. Just take it off the hook. No. Oh, you yeah. soft. Soft, 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 soft. Do you want to pat him? No. You can pat him. No. 
I'll play him back there. <laughs> Aren't they just beautiful? <laughs> I love my kids. Taking kids fishing is a wonderful thing. A small red fin around the shallow margins of lakes is a wonderful way to introduce them to the fish. What I often do with my little girls, I'll cast out and I'll stand here casting as long as it takes until I hook a fish. Once I hook one I say, oh, got a sore arm, can you reel it in for me? <laughs> and the kids fight over it. They grab the rod then they can reel the fish in. And then of course they've caught the fish, you know. <laughs>